Hi everyone, welcome back. This time I'll be covering the TDR function of the MSO19. This is a lesser known function of the MSO19. TDR stands for Time Domain Reflectometry. It is sometimes called the wire radar. The principle is very similar to the conventional radar, where a pulse is sent down the wire. If there's an impedance mismatch, part of the pulse is reflected back. By looking at the shape of the waveform and the time it takes for the waveform to reflect back, we can derive distance and characterize the type of mismatch. So let's get started. Here's an MSO19. And what we have here is the, the TDR adapter. It's actually pretty simple. All it is is it's a splitter and it's six inches of cable. So you hook it up by putting the splitter onto the out connector. And we we'll connect the six inches of um, 50 ohm cable to the scope. So now a pulse is sent down the cable, going down the cable, the simultaneous is getting picked up by the oscilloscope. There's a little of time delay by going through the, the rest of the analog chain. So the initial few feet, you'll get a slight, slight deviation. So we have here is a Belden 8265. Um, coax cable. It's an RG58A. We've got 100 feet of it. I'm going to send a pulse down. So let's switch, let's go to the TDR function. So to get to enter, you just click the TDR function, TDR button, and let's zoom out a bit. This is what it looks like. And you also need to set the velocity factor. The velocity factor for the Belden cable it's 66. As you know, as it specs out in as it specified in their data sheet. What you have here is this is the initial pulse. This is where it's generated by the out connector. This is the reflection coming back, the first reflection. This is the second reflection coming back. So now let's zoom in a bit and measure the distance of this cable. It goes from the initial pulse, the trigger cursor is always measured from there, so you drop cursor A. Drop it down to the inflection point. I have a distance of 32.18 meter. So type 32.18. I got 105 feet. It's close to 100 because it, we st we have a little bit of the um, prop delay for the scope section of the circuitry. Now let's add a few more feet to it. I got a spool here that I me measured out to be 25 feet. I put a splitter here. I'm oh. And what happens if the impedance is matched? There's a 50 ohm connection, 50 ohm terminator. I'm going to terminate the cable. Notice it's completely cleaned up, except for the little divot here. This is still a slight this mismatch, but it's pretty much gone. Now, here's a splitter. I'm going to send 25, send it down to 25 feet of cable. You see that the cable now extends out for another from it was at cursor A now it's going to cursor B so distance from A to B it measures out to be 7.43 meter 7.43 and we got about 23 23.4 24.4 feet of cable which is close to our 25 feet now, this is something interesting. I left this connector open because what happens if you have a short in the cable, somewhere in the middle of the cable chain, which is like this. Now, you see the short is exactly at 100 feet. You see the inflection going down. And then it starts climbing back because part of the energy that didn't, get, didn't get absorbed started reflecting back at the end of the, at the end of the 25 feet. So let's look at it again. I screw it out with my hand. One pulse goes out 100 feet. He sees it short. This it goes down, and then it starts climbing back up. This tells me the length of the the second section, and here's the mismatch. Now I I added a I add a terminator to the end. It's gone, but if I short it out again, the mismatch is happening here. I get uh, the short to ground, or sometimes you can use this to detect if 
you got breaking your cable the shorter together or shorter to the the um the shield and then the reflection this give me a cable total length so I can actually use this to measure how long the cable is and where the break is you can also do things like this I got a spool of cat5 cable I have no idea how long it is I know it's not a thousand feet because I used some of it already and based on the data, data sheet I have a um, prop delay of I have a prop delay about 66 also so I'm gonna just use a little uh, banana connector and uh, to BNC I plug it in the pulse is sent down so where how long does this cable Go to zoom to fit. Let's see. Did I have a break? Ah, I did not connect in. There you go. Here's my pulse. Zoom in a little bit. Move it to the inflection point, and it says my cable is two hundred and two hundred point seven meters, two hundred point seven point two hundred seven point eight point nine point nine. So I've got six hundred eighty feet left on this pool. So at least I know if I'm gonna pull this thing, pull this cable, I have. I got about 600, almost 700 feet to work with. And that's it, folks. That's it for today. And we'll I'll touch on a different topic next time. Thank you.